If you have worked in uh, data analytics by now, you probably have seen that there are two main categories of tools or skills uh, that you can use to analyze your data. So the first group of tools are these tools that are pretty easy to set up. I'm talking about things like Microsoft Excel or maybe Google Sheet or maybe Power BI or Tableau. Super easy to start with these tools because you simply download, you access the page where you can use these tools. So for example, you know, you download Microsoft Excel and you're ready to go. You download Power BI or Tableau and you're ready to go. But there is another set of of skill set of tools, which is actually way harder to get started with. And I'm talking about things like Python, so programming language, and SQL, so structure query language. Now, you may have noticed with these tools that you don't have something that you can download and start using it straight away. You actually have to set up a sort of an environment where you can code in these languages. And so for many people, this setup that is needed for you to start using these tools is already a massive friction, which can cause a lot of frustration. And so what I want to do with you today is giving you a super simple setup to start working with SQL. The tool that I'm going to show you is absolutely free and also is not a random tool that is only used for practice. It's actually a tool that is used nowadays in the workplace. It's actually something that I use on a daily basis as a data analytics lead with over seven years of experience. And so by the end of this video, you will not only have a setup that is absolutely free to use and that will get you up and running using SQL for your data analysis, but also will give you the chance to work with a tool that is used nowadays in a real work scenario. And so if any of this sounds interesting, let me show you exactly how to set up your SQL environment and get ready for any data analytics tasks. Okay, so let me walk you through step by step how to set up your SQL environment. So the first thing that I do is uh, simply search in Google BigQuery in uh, Google. And I'm going to click the first link. So BigQuery AI data platform, this one here. So I'm going to click on this one here. And then second step, I have the Google Cloud uh, page. I'm going to click on try it in uh, console. Perfect. And then right now we are already inside uh, Google Cloud console and uh, specifically inside uh, BigQuery Studio. And uh, in case you don't know, BigQuery is the data warehouse from Google. So it's a, you know, Google product is something that a lot of uh, companies are using to store all of their, their data uh, and have it as a, as a database. And so uh, this is exactly the environment that you could see when you start working within a company that is using uh, BigQuery or other Google products. And so uh, this is exactly the type of environment that, for example, I use uh, currently as a data analytics lead. And so that's perfect for you because you can practice SQL, not in a, let's say, fake or random environment, but in an environment that is exactly what uh, most companies use nowadays. Now, um, you see here in um, the left-hand side screen that uh, I have some material here that are basically some folders when projects that I can, you know, open and uh, use. The amazing stuff about BigQuery Studio is that if you want to practice your SQL, you can already take a lot of tables that they created for you that are kind of uh, publicly available. That's why it's called BigQuery Public Data. And so let's say that I want to check out, I don't know, BBC News. So let me open this one here. Let me actually expand. I have this uh, table called uh, full text. What I can do is uh, three dots here. And actually, I can do query. So I'm going to click on query and let me add the asterisk. And so that means I'm just selecting everything from this table, only the first uh, thousand rows. So let's uh, run this one here. And after a few seconds, basically, you can see that I run my first SQL query within uh, Google BigQuery. And I can see, you know, the result of my query. So there is a uh, data on uh, BBC News. So that's one way to go about practicing your SQL. Uh, you know, opening Google BigQuery and just using the BigQuery public data. So a lot of stuff here that you can check out, stuff on crypto, on COVID, uh, interesting stuff that you can use to practice SQL. The other thing that you may want to do is actually importing and loading your own data into BigQuery. Maybe you found some data online or maybe you have access to some sort of data. And so let me show you exactly how to add your own data instead of using the BigQuery public data that is available. So you can see here add data. So I'm going to just click on add data. And then in here, you can see a lot of data sources that you can choose from. So, uh, you know, you have stuff like Google Ads, Google Analytics, obviously a lot of uh, Google uh, products in here, Google Play, Google Sheets as well. Uh, but you also have uh, other databases like MySQL, uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So a lot of stuff here, uh, even uh, YouTube channel, it's uh, actually pretty interesting. 
So uh, a lot of platforms that you can connect to your own BigQuery environment. Probably the easiest way that I would recommend you uh, going about this is actually selecting maybe a local file that you have in your machine. So let me click on uh, local file and let me click again on local file here. And what you see here is a page where you can uh, upload your data. So create a table based on the data that you have in your machine. So I'm going to create a table from upload. So that's perfect. Obviously, I need to browse and select the file that I want to use. So in my case, let me use something that I have in my desktop. So the Apple Store CSV. Its uh, file format is a CSV file, so that's perfect. And in here, I just have to um, specify where this data will sit within uh, Google BigQuery. So in my case, for example, I already have a project that is called Analytics and Automation Academy. That's a project I already created. If you don't have a project, uh, you can obviously create one. So you can, you know, write the, the name of the project. Uh, so uh, do that if uh, necessary. Dataset as well, you just have to uh, create a data set, uh, which is kind of like a folder where your table is going to uh, be inserted in. So in my case, uh, again, you can create a new data set. In my case, I'm going to use, I don't know, let's use uh, SQL practice. And then I need to create the name of the actual table. So, so in my case, let's use actually the name of my uh, CSV file. So I'm going to call this Apple Store. And then uh, I think we can uh, keep the other settings uh, as default. The stuff that I wanted to show you is the advanced options. So let me open this one here. So I just wanted to show you that obviously you have uh, a few options that you can use to make sure that the upload is uh, correct. So in my case, and in most cases, uh, when you upload a CSV file, the top row uh, is the headers, right? So what I have to specify here is the header rows to skip. Obviously, I can use the you know info button here to get more details on a specific uh, setting here and basically it says okay you have to enter the number of rows to skip from the top of the csv file and so in my case i have only one row that is the first one for the headers so i'm gonna just put uh, one in here and if i scroll down again i can you know uh, modify uh, other settings but i think everything should uh i think everything looks good now so let me uh click on create table and in just a few seconds i get this message apple store created so i can click on go to table or actually because i know that is stored within analytics and automation academy folder so let me go in here and then i think we selected sql practice and this is the table that i just created so again i can do exactly the same three dots here and then uh, select query and again, Google BigQuery will generate uh, automatically the first query. I just have to add the asterisks here uh, in, just in case I want to check out uh, what's happening inside this table. So I just run this uh, simple query. And this is exactly the um, and this is exactly what we have just uh, uploaded in um, Google BigQuery. So in this case, it's a CSV file that I had with uh, IDs, uh, track name. Uh, I think there is a a bunch of name of uh, apps in uh, in the Apple Store, the size in bytes, the currency, the price of the app, and a lot of other information. And by the way, just to give you a bit of a better understanding of what I just uploaded, this was the Apple Store CSV file. So this is what I uploaded. So these are the, the headers, and this is exactly what we have in uh, Google BigQuery. So all matching uh, perfectly. And so that's pretty much it. Now, I uploaded my data and then I can, you know, practice my SQL, uh, you know, get on with my data analytics tasks and potentially use Google BigQuery as my platform for my data analytics project. And there you have it, a simple video on how to set up your SQL environment for your project. So data analytics work, everything completely free and also mimicking exactly what's happening today in the workplace scenario. As always, if you found at least one useful information in this video, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel so that I can help you even further in the next videos. And if you're interested in data analytics overall and you want me to help you to land a job and help you basically on a one-on-one -on -one basis until you achieve that goal, then make sure to check out my Analytics and Automation Academy. We have a lot of students already that landed jobs. And so if you're interested, I would love to help you as well and make you my next success story. You can find the link in the description and after you apply we can hop on a call and i'm gonna see if that's a good fit for you also i will leave here in the screen some other videos that i made on uh, actually data cleaning done 
in SQL, but also in uh, Python. So again, if you're interested to practice a bit of uh, data IT skills with real case scenario, then make sure to check them out. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.